The Bluetooth LE component was actually introduced in XC7. In XC8, we added a regular Bluetooth component as well. Anyway, so we're going to show you guys a little bit with the Bluetooth LE component. What we've done is we've created an application to talk to the uh, Wahoo uh, Bluetooth scale. So it's a bathroom scale. They do, so they, it's Bluetooth LE, which is our Bluetooth Smart. One thing about the scale is it does not publish. They don't give you tell you how to access the profile. They don't tell you what the interface is for it. So David and I and myself actually used a uh, uh, a Bluetooth Explorer to go through and spelunk the scale. And so we first of all scan for all the Bluetooth devices, found this. Oh look, here's the scale, and then go into it and you say what are what does this scale publish? Now, oh, this is what the scale publishes. And so we just we found the scale and we saw. You know, the services it provides, well, we'll subscribe to that one. And sure enough, when you push down the scale, the numbers start changing. So we figured out what those numbers were, how to get to them. Turned out it was in uh, hectograms, which was not a weight at measurement I was completely familiar with. But it noticed it was not pounds, but it was kilograms. But the decimal point is in the wrong spot. So once we figured out the conversion from hectograms to pounds, we were able to get this to work. So, so you put down the Bluetooth LE component and you enable it, okay? And so this is just enables it to talk to um, Bluetooth devices. Um, we have one event handler, we have two event handlers here, but I'll show you how those work in a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to our device. So up here at the top, we actually have a couple uh, uh, GUID constants. And so we figured out what these were um using the explorer so the device this is the the good for the device this is the good for the service that we want to subscribe to so it has multiple services and this is the service that we were looking for for the weight service and then that service has multiple characteristics and this is the characteristic of the weight that we're looking for so now we come in here and we say we want to discover devices and so this is the timeout and this, this is the device we're looking for. This can be an array of devices. So maybe they call it a new Wahoo scale that has a different device ID. So you can put that here and have multiple devices you're looking for. In this, so there's an event that fires on the Bluetooth component in the discover devices. So when I call discover after 3.5 seconds, this occurs, the end discover devices. And in here, we come through and we find the, we go through discovered devices. So we, we say, okay, we have more than one device. So we assume the first device is the scale. Um, since we are looking for this particular GUID, if we found 10 devices, all of them would have to be the scales. So we're just assuming we only found one scale. If we found other scales, we're just ignoring those. So in here, we come in and say, we are gonna get the service of that device so right here this is the uh, device we found and we get the services for that device and if we get none then we say hey we didn't find anything we just put a message there uh, otherwise we say oh we found the scale specify the uh, the value for that for the the count that we found of services and so then we call get services characteristics and so this is a routine here that David wrote that goes through and gets the characteristics of that service. And so we're looking for the weight service. And then we go through that service and we look to see what information it has as far as the, the UID of it. And let's see, right here we're getting the characteristics. And one of those is the, uh, the weight measurement characteristic. So we grab the right measurement characteristic, and then we're also putting in here, we're subscribing that characteristic. So this is the key right here. Once you get the service, then get the characteristic for the service, then you subscribe to that characteristic. And then once we've done that, then on our Bluetooth component, we have an event that occurs here that's called uh, on characteristic read. So when that uh, characteristic is updated, so when someone steps on the scale, now, if you ever stepped on a bathroom scale before, you know that the numbers uh, start moving and you see the numbers changing over time as it, you know, as you step down on it, the weight comes on into it and you see you're reading those values. This event will fire multiple times as those numbers are changing.
So here's where we did the, the hectograms conversion. We noticed the bytes on it were uh, would indicate that the value was still changing, and then it would change to indicate that the value had got to its finest final value. So now we're not parsing that out here. We're just ignoring the, the last byte from the characteristic we get to get the value as an integer. So you get the values of different types. You can come through as different values. You can come through as a float, as a string, et cetera. And then we're converting it to hectograms. So I'm going to show you this on Windows. Windows is a little more complicated than the other ones. First thing is you have to go into Bluetooth and pair it to the scale. So Bluetooth LE typically doesn't require pairing, but Windows does require pairing for Bluetooth LE. So I've paired it to the Wahoo scale. So it's just a matter of turning on Bluetooth. It enumerates all the devices, and then I just select the scale and hit pair. Okay, so now um, when I run my application, and I'm going to hit connect. There we go, found the scale. Here's the service that I found, the characteristic, etc. Subscribe to wait mission characteristic. Okay, so now if I step on the scale, and I'm not standing on it, it's on the, I'm sitting in my chair. We see that here's the events firing and the different values for the weight, okay? And we finally stopped, it stopped firing because uh, we've come to equilibrium as far as that weight I'm putting on the scale, 50 pounds. Uh, this is in pounds, we did the conversion from hectograms. Now I'm not standing on it, it's just my feet resting on it under the table here as I'm talking to you. So there we go. That's what is involved in reading the scale. As if I actually push down really hard on this, I get the value to just go up, see?